Are you struggling to wrap your mind around your financial life? Keys to the Coin with Dr. Paul ATN is the podcast you need. We'll help you gain confidence in every coin through engaging discussions and financial know-how. Improve your financial literacy, become independent and debt-free, and learn more about the opportunities around you. From stock market investments to real estate and retirement funds, the possibilities are endless. Endless. Visit madbu.com and download our app, Madboo Max, on both Android and iPhone's app stores. All right, welcome to Keys to the Corn. Today is the start of our second season, and we have a very special guest today. And that's Mr. Arcel Jean-Pierre Jr. And so today we're going to talk about a specific and very um, important subject. It's about options trading. So the title of the podcast is Keys to the Coin. Is Keys to the Coin. So we talked about the different ways to get to the money, to manage your money, and to have your money make more money for you. So options trading is one of um the best way actually to uh, make money and today i did not want to go over the subject so i wanted to bring a special uh, specialist um, on the subject to talk more about it so i would like for mr Arcel to go ahead and introduce yourself um to our community go ahead hey how you doing my name is Arcel jean pierre um, I'm speaker, author, writer, musician, option trader, investor. I do too much, uh, but most importantly, I'm a husband and a father. Um, it's an honor to be here, you know, to, to get into one of my favorite topics. I find myself talking about finance more and more. So I don't know, man, I might follow your footsteps and become a doctor, just like you, man. Congrats on that, by the way. Shout out, shout out. Hey, thank you, man. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> So uh, we're very happy to have you on the podcast today. And right before we start with the big questions uh, we want to do, uh, we're starting some new segments in the podcast, and you'll be the first one to try them. <laughs> so you'll let me know how you go. Play. Let's go. Um, so this section is uh, a nice breaker, you know, for our guest speaker, yeah, just to have them to relax a little bit. Um, now, I know you've written a book before, and I know you write about different subject, subjects. Now, if you could write a book that was guaranteed to be a bestseller, let's say like um, a New York Times bestseller, what would you write about? How to have a successful relationship. That's what everybody looking for. That's what everybody wants to figure out. Because making money ain't hard. <laughs> <laughs> figuring out people and relationships, yeah, that, that's the one I do my best at all. So are you talking about relationship with... Um... Oh, like a significant other. Significant yeah, other. Yeah, so it will start with like a relationship with your, your, your spouse, your partner, mm -hmm. and kind of delve into like, okay, relationship with family members, your friends, people you hold close, associates, your enemies even. Yeah, that, that, that kind of thing. It's interesting. I did not see that coming, but you do talk about relationship a lot too. So I can see, I can see, I can see that happening. I can see that happening. All right. So uh, we're not going to take too much time. We want to get right into the subject and learn more about options trading, what they are, um, how to get started, and what you can get out of it. So the first thing I would like for you to do today is to explain to the people listening today what is options trading let's say let's do it to like a, a third grade level like got you in a way that anyone could understand right now got it so i explain it this way because this is the way i understand it when you have stocks you buy a stock you can hold it forever i buy a stock if i never sell it i can give it to my son he can give it to his son and it can go on for generations with options Options don't last forever. They expire, and you choose how long it expires. It expires in a week, a month, a year. So the way I always explain it is, options is like buying stocks wholesale, because one option contract is 100 shares of a stock. But mm -hmm. it has 
it lasts forever and you're getting it at a discount price. So for example, let's say I wanted to buy, let's say Apple was 100 shares and I wanted to buy, uh, uh, or let's keep it simple, let's say Apple was $1 a share and I wanted to buy 100 shares, I would need $100. Well with options, I could probably pay $5 for 100 shares of Apple that expire that week. So it's basically just buying stocks on a bundle wholesale discount that expire in time of your choosing. And because of that now, when you choose the direction that you want the stock to go in and you're right. So if I buy a call, it means I think the stock is going to go up. If I buy a put, I think it's because the stock is going to go down. If I choose the correct direction based on how much it goes up or how much it goes down, my profits now become far exponential and far greater than if I had just bought the stock itself. That's it. So based on what you just explained, that means there are great rewards to trading stocks. Now, how about the risk to trading options? I mean, trading. Oh, listen, in, in anything where you can make amazing money, it means you can lose amazing money. So I have literally with options, I've made what it took me three years playing for church to make in two days. And I've had moments where I've lost what it took me to make <laughs> church in three years in a day. So it's something that is extremely high risk, but extremely also high reward. And I think, you know, even with the best thing across the board, it's really just discipline, having a trading plan and being able to manage your emotions. And if you can do those things and then as you learn and, you know, you don't let your losses take you out the game, like you can really start to find a way to kind of string together wins. And as you start to learn the market and, you know, we forever students. So you keep learning, you keep picking up on patterns. It's something that can easily replace, you know, whatever you're doing for work. I see. Now, a lot of people, you know, heard about stocks for the first time during the pandemic. That's just the truth. Of it. Now, a lot of people still don't know what options are. They've never heard of options, um, even though they've been, you know, um, exposed to what stocks trading is. Now, how did you, um, how did you find out about options, and what made you decide, hey, I want to start trading options? So what's interesting is about, I'm gonna say six or seven years ago, my piano teacher of all people started teaching me how he used to use stocks to make money and how he was, that's what we call swing trading. So he would mm -hmm. buy a stock and then hold it for a couple of weeks or a couple of days and then sell when it went in the direction that he wanted it to go or if he sold for a loss, he sold for a loss. And he always used to talk to me about options. He was like, stay away from options, don't ever do it, stay away from yourself. I never went into it and I was like, all right, and then one day a family friend of mine, you know, my dad was telling him how I'm so into stocks and the stock market. He called me, he started talking to me about options. And me, listen, you know, some people have bad experiences with stuff and I'm like, yo, let me try this thing out and see what it's about. And I started to see how powerful it was. And basically because that family friend like taught me, I started to dabble into it like real life. And then one day he decided, um, matter of fact, actually, I think it was like uh, the last, two years he had a bout with COVID and he was, the ventilator was really bad but he got out of it and the thing is when he got out of it he was he had this epiphany and he was rejuvenated and he decided to start doing classes where he would teach people so he had already kind of shown me a couple of things but when he did the class he like took me to a whole another level and that's when I was doing it aggressively and it came at the perfect time because now you got stimulus money coming or money <laughs> out there with like other businesses and it was like hey if I could do this with a thousand now you putting ten thousand in my hand and there's nothing to play with. That's true. Yeah. Nice. Now, when you trade app, when you trade options, like I, I, I have different accounts with different programs. Some of them are best to trade stocks with, others best to trade crypto with. Um, do you have any favorite brokers when it comes to trading options? So, like, yes. so like with options, the, the direction I per personally prefer to go, I do make many of my heavy trading with um, E-Trade, but I also use Robinhood as well because Robinhood allows me to use like different strategies like Iron Condors, debit spreads, put credit spreads, which can actually be very helpful. And so I kind of tend to do that. And I like having two account because like, 
let's say I want to do something super risky, but I don't lose all my money. So I might do it in my Robin Hood, which I have money in there that it sounds weird to say, but I don't really care what happens. So I'll do like all my super wild stuff over there. And I, I'll play a little aggressive in my E-Trade, but it's more my serious money. So between E-Trade and Robin, like they both have their, their pluses and minuses, their pros and cons. But like I remember a while ago, Robin Hood was not the business, especially with that whole like AMC GameStop debacle. Then now I think they got like twenty four hour support, or at least they have a number you can finally call. So I think you know Robin Hood is slowly starting to step up his game. But I I kind of go between two. But I tell everybody who does it like find you know what's more comfortable for you. You know some people use um, Thinkorswim, they use Weibo, but, you know just whatever platform you know covers your needs. I think um, Robinhood does have that good incentive of not taking commissions off your trades. I think that's always a good thing, but, you know, I mean, it's just whatever platform makes you, you know, that you're just comfortable with. Now, when it comes to the ease to use one of those platforms, what's one of those that have started, which one would you recommend? Say it again? When it comes to the, the ease of use, like how easy it is to use these platforms for someone who's just getting started, which platform do you think they should stop with? At least uh, so I would say the easiest one, based on the ones that I have the most experience with, I would say the easiest one is, is I, w- I would go with E-Trade. Because with E-Trade, it already puts in the market prices for you, so you don't have to kind of fight with Robinhood. Like Robinhood, you, you, so when I say market price, like each option contract has a price. Mm-hmm. And so you have to, you know, this is when we talk bid and ask and, you know, it gets a little more technical, but you have to put in the price that you want to pay for the contract, which is in a certain range. And so Robinhood, you can put a price in, but if that order never gets filled or completed, like you never actually got the contract. And that's happened before where I'm trying to get a contract so fast, I never get it or I thought I got it. The thing is flying up and I'm looking to see my profits and realize it never filled. And I'm just like, yo, man, come on. Whereas with E-Trade, E-Trade fills that thing no matter what. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it can work against you. So it's like, to say ease of use, I mean, ease, ease of use, I would lean towards E-Trade, but like, once you get the hang of them, they're not really that difficult. Like, I think on, I think, I, I think I've heard like Weeble can be a little more complicated, but I think between E-Trade and Robinhood, like, you know, it's not difficult. Okay. Oh, uh, E-Trade. I just used it a long time ago. When I switched to um, dating, I, I need to check. How, how do you like that one? It's nice. It's nice. I usually use the, the mobile platform. They have um, a whole new system. They just, well, it's still in beta right now. And it's very, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. I think, they, I think they're trying to match. The UX right is trying to make it like um, Robinhood, where everything is kind of like easy to use. It's all kind of things right now. I kind of like it, at least. I just don't like it. I don't know how to go back to the trade. I, 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 I've never used the trade for options. So, yeah, man. I, I tell like people, listen, use whatever weapon works for you. <laughs> so, quick questions now. When it comes to financial freedom, you know, I think that word is, or that phrase is being all around by everybody and every context. Um, as someone who's looking to reach financial freedom, how can options trading get them there? And, and what can they do to get them options? Oh, listen, like even today, you know, like for example, if you're if you're just in stocks and you really you don't really know how like short stocks or anything like that. Like today when everything was dropping, you'd be like, Oh no, my whole portfolio was red and stuff like that. <laughs> and I know some people was feeling that. But me, because I'm in using options, I was putting puts on the S P five hundred, the SPY. So I was literally cheering that thing as it was going down. I was like, yeah, die. I want the whole market to end. Yo, keep going. Oh, yes. It was to the point where I had um, two puts and then I pulled out at like 455 on one of them. Mm-hmm. And I let them run and I pulled out like 453 on another and I left a small one in to swing it overnight. And, you know, just to be transparent, it's ain't no big deal to me. 
on both those on my two big plays, you know what I mean? I made twelve hundred on one and almost a thousand on another. And that's in what barely ten minutes of trading. So wow. it's like and that was with me, I put in a thousand and I got no, I put in a thousand. So each trade was a thousand dollars that I put in. And I got twelve hundred from one and fourteen from another. So basically two thousand dollars made me another twenty four hundred. So my account grew by twenty four hundred dollars just by me putting two thousand. And I say that because like, you know what I mean, obviously yes, this is not what happens all the time, you know, you try to capitalize on moves. But I will say this, like if you position yourself properly, it happens every week. Like every week there is a stock that takes off and goes crazy, either up in the direction or down in the direction. So it's just a matter of, of reading charts and consuming a lot of information and also connecting with different people on Twitter and, and linking up with different traders because some people see things you might not see. And so I say that because like, where do you know in your job where 10 minutes you can make $2,000? That's what I was about to say. That's, that's, that's a month worth of paycheck for some people. <laughs> that's it. And the beauty is, right, more money makes you more money because, again, it's all about percentage. It's not about amount. So if I told you I made a trade and I made 100% on that trade, well, if I put $50,000 in that trade, I just made another 50000 So I'm sitting off $100,000. Where do you get that kind of capital? And unfortunately, you know, our community, like, it's good that I'm starting to see a lot of people who look like us and a lot of black Americans and you know Caribbean start to kind of pick up on investing, even though I think some of us are still coming a little slowly. But like, man, I would like I like I always say I can't wait till my son is like 10, 12, where you can really understand and I can explain this. Because if he's doing this stuff early, imagine, you know what I mean? Like you look at a lot of the wealthy people that we know that we see, Mark Cuban, for example, you know. One of the major reasons that he's as wealthy as he is is because he leveraged and used the tool of options to magnify exponentially his wealth. So it's like, if they do it, why would I not do it myself? All members of Congress is trading options, bro. It's, it's, not, it's not just, we're, we're talking about like the wealthy, wealthy people like uh, Jeff Bezos, mm -hmm. uh, Elon Musk. Like when you see their wealth go up by a billion in one day, it's not just because they hold. They, you know, it, 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 placing options on those stocks also. So uh, one of the other thing I want to touch back on, I'm glad you brought that up. It's not about the amount, it's about the percentage. Because so many people get lost in, oh, just make $10 today, but you only have $100 in your account. That's like 10%. So people will be like that's that's taking too long to get to the amount that they want to get they just stop learning or they stop trading or they stop you know, getting to you know, learning more. When like I mentioned, what you have to realize is you're talking about percentage. If you make ten percent, it's ten dollars on a hundred dollars, you have a hundred dollars on a thousand dollars on ten thousand dollars. So you just need to know how to grow your money. It doesn't matter how much you're getting, it's about how much you're getting it. And once you have that unlock, all you have to do is increase the capital. And then that's it. That growth, man. So that's one thing you want to, to start thinking about and keep in mind when they, they trade in general. But thank, thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. Um, and, and even on that same point, not even to, to interrupt you, but like on that same point, it's like once I really started being, you know, once I really started being intentional about trading, why I made money suddenly started to change. Like, because me, I, I live by this model, like every dollar I make has to have a purpose. And so it's like, it came to a point where it's like, okay, if I don't have a purpose for this money, I don't need to do it. I don't need to work. I don't need to do this gig. I'd rather spend that time with my family. And if I now have a purpose for the money, like, oh, okay, you know, I'm gonna throw this extra bread into this investment or that, like it all starts to have a purpose. And, when you really can get a hang at investing and especially, you know, making that short-term money with an option, bro, like, you start to become real picky <laughs> about yeah. what gigs and how often you go stay out or if you feel like staying home the whole week. And, you know, me, me being an entrepreneur, you know, I mean, I go by my own schedule anyway. So when I say this really gave me a lot more options, you know, no pun intended, but more options to, you know, live my life a certain way, like, yeah. Yeah, uh, 
All right, so give me just one second, I think. Um, my recording just stopped. Hold on. Okay. All right, I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. So, so you mentioned earlier that when you really get into trading, it was or, or options trading, it was because of someone. Um, talk to more about how bad it is to get there. Um, how, what kind of impact do you think their guidance had on you still trading today? Or um, was that was it like a mentor that you had, or someone you just could go to? So it was my it, it's they they're basically like family like a, like an uncle and mm -hmm. I don't talk to him every day but I was telling myself I need to talk to him more because he trades like religiously and you know what I mean he's been well, just using options alone he's been using options to pay his his daughter's um, college tuition like in full and so that's outside of any money he's making on his own. And he told me he's been so successful because he's been in the game for a minute now. And he's been doing this for so long that, you know, anytime he really wants to quit his job, which is a really great job, you can quit. And so, you know, kind of having someone like that in my corner that was so experienced that, you know, was willing to teach me and put me on game. It was like, I always tell him, like, yo, you changed my life because there were certain things I wanted to do in a certain lifestyle that I know I wanted to live and, you know, certain things I wanted to achieve. And my always thing was like, wondering okay how am i gonna do this like how am i gonna achieve this how is this gonna happen and i never really knew like okay how is it gonna come together but you know once i found the power of options and i started utilizing it and using it it was like oh okay this this is it like all i gotta do is just master this be patient and learn this and this can change my life and so him teaching me that that was yeah life changing like dramatically like so pretty much options give you options right that's it that bro that's about to be my new my, my model options gave me options <laughs> options <I> like that <laughs> now I, I i know you do um you have this company that you manage or well, i think you were one of the owners too that teach people how to trade options am i correct yeah, so um, we got a company called Seawell Trading, which I found out with my cousin. Mm -hmm. And it's basically just doing what, you know, my uncle kind of did for us, which is just teach us. But we kind of go a lot further. Not only do we teach everybody, but we do community for people to reach out if they have questions. We have a private group chat where we talk. And the icing on the cake is that not only do we teach you guys how to fish, teach you how to do your own options, how to read charts, how to understand the market, how to invest. But we also call out the plays. So like, for example, you know what I mean? When I was jumping into a spy put today, you know, I call out in my Discord, hey, spy put expiration December 3rd, you know, um, it's a 454 strike, et cetera, et cetera. And people who pay attention, you can jump into it. And I tell you, hey, I'm taking profits right now. So if I made, you know what I mean, 90% and you jumped in right with me, you made 90% right with me. So that, you know, has been a great tool. Like I had a friend of mine who's a nurse, so we would pick plays that she would necessarily have to constantly watch. And, you know, in her first two weeks, and this is not everybody, but it, it happens. But in her first two weeks, she turned four thousand dollars into fifteen. You know what I mean? Wow. And that kind of growth in just two weeks, again, that's not what happens all the time. But mm -hmm. you know, now she's even at the point where she's finding plays on her own and she's gotten falling in love with investing. And that's what C well is about. You know what I mean? The C is community, community wealth, building wealth as a community. And it, it's easier, you know, it's easier to find plays when we all working at it, all looking at stuff. So, you know what I mean? If anybody is interested, you know, just hit us up on Instagram, C well trading. And you guys can find all the links in the bio, yada, yada, yada. That's all right. So, if anybody's interested, um, I will put a link to your page. Let's see what they have their own page also, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll put a link to your page. That way they can find um, the link um, in your bio. So if anybody wants to learn how to save options, um, this is your guide for that. So uh, we are almost done. 
I have another segment, um, it's called Daytime with Mad Boo. This is where you are going to tell our listeners one thing, it's maybe a or a secret about training and about the things that you do that people can't find anywhere else or um, who would be surprised to find out when we have for us. Does that have to be about myself or just anything? It could be something something that will benefit them. Oh, something that will benefit them? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got you. Do I, do I just go? Yeah. Go. Listen, this is about to benefit you right now. If you follow Dave Ramsey, if you listen to Dave Ramsey, <laughs> if you have any videos of Dave Ramsey, burn it, throw it away. Do not listen to that man. He is aiming to make you broke. There you go. If you was listening before, do not listen to him now after I didn't say this. I'm trying to help you out. Save yourself the trouble. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that did not go as <laughs> But yes, I I agree to that. <laughs> uh, you know what? Like I, I was gonna have a whole episode about Dave, but I'm not most time, um, you know, it's, it's, it's getting to a point where, I don't know, I'm not going to talk about what he's doing though, like he knows. Yeah, if you have common sense, you know, just, just, you know, listen to yourself and, and read this stuff just to find out if that, I guess, you know, he may be, I don't know, I don't know who his audience would be. I don't know. I, I feel bad for anybody who takes this man <laughs> seriously. I, I heard this man say, oh, yeah, if you can't buy a new car, ride the bus. I was like, what? Yeah. And, and, and I, was wait, I was waiting today. I, I know he, the craziest, one of the craziest posts was like two days ago, but today I was waiting for a couple who bought a house for $30,000. Right? And now, I don't know, like 30 years later, the house is worth three million dollars, and for you to tell people the only way to buy a house is only to put something cash, where mortgages are like the best tool, not to to where you are holding three, four, five hundred thousand dollars with just two percent, like you have access. It's just crazy. Don't. Listen, anybody. Anybody who was able to get a house last year, and I, I thank God I was able to get my first crib, interest rates, like my realtor told me, were historically low. People were getting 2%, 2.5 on their mortgages. Imagine me choosing not to buy a house. I couldn't buy a house cash. And then now the market right now is completely trash because my house is has gone up almost like 30% in a matter of a few months because that market is so inflated. Yes. So it's like, I got to get what you got listening to, man. <laughs> Imagine waiting to like, I don't even tell people to wait until you get 20%. No, like get it with 3%, you get conventional with 3%, get it with 3%, get your NFHA, you know, and then it. later, you know, whatever you can do, if you qualify, yeah, because one of the you know one of the episodes I will talk it's gonna be about home uh, ownership because there's a post that's been going around where someone was comparing renting and buying where they say it's best to rent. Right. When you look into the details, they didn't qualify for a mortgage. They didn't have a lot of money because they didn't, they didn't have a job. Right. Oh, who paid for the house cash? When you pay for it cash, now that money you could have put it in the market. And get 10 15 percent compared to putting it in the house now i mean i know a lot of people are getting 30 percent, but that's not the usual that's not the, the normal way you know you usually get 35 percent so that in that case it may not make sense but if you have a mortgage you know and you can mortgage 97 percent or even if you do just the, the, the 80 percent um and then the rest you put it in the in the market and you get it's will I'll go over <laughs> over that because I think it's misleading where a lot of people who can afford to purchase a home who should a home are listening to someone who already has a three million dollar portfolio who couldn't buy a house because he didn't get a job, who doesn't have a job to 
So welcome and and this all are getting um they're getting um shut down right now. They can't buy a house because it's, it's getting so expensive for them. All right. But that bro, episode. Yeah, go ahead. Bro, I, I'm I'm gonna show you uh, and I'm gonna add this little tip. I'm gonna show you how much I've fallen in love and how seriously I take investment, right? So most of the time, obviously when you buy a car, especially if you buy a new car, you should have a certain amount of money to put down. You know to use that money to lower your payments right uh-huh. but I said, you know what i'm about to go against the green i decided that i was going to get a brand new car and put zero down even though my payments were going to be way higher and i might get a higher interest rate right but i said and i'm gonna give an example let's say i had twenty thousand dollars to put down for the car well i know if i don't put anything down right my payments would probably be about a thousand dollars for the next six years or whatever like that but if I have twenty thousand dollars in my hands and I only put down a thousand, I got nineteen thousand left. I know the damage I can do with nineteen thousand. Yes, that's exactly it, bro. I put down nothing and I would see my payment was high. I said, "All right, no problem." I took all the money that I was gonna put down, started making it grow, and I started overpaying. So now I still have the capital, and my payments are way lower because I've been overpaying so much. Now, I won't recommend it to anybody because you got to know what you're doing. You got to have a certain level of discipline. But that's just how, like, the world of investing and the power of money being a tool has changed my approach to everything. This, this is the thing, man. Finance is so diverse where there's not, like, a, a one size fits all. Right. So you need to have the knowledge. You need to have financial literacy to tell you what makes sense, here's what doesn't make sense. Some people may be looking from the outside of life, well, this guy must be crazy, you know, but I'm paying my house, but whatever money I could have put down for the 20, um, 20% down, I use that to buy a rental property, three, four units that's now paying my mortgage. Yeah. You know, people will be like, oh, why, you know, if you had the money, why didn't you put in, have a lower payment? No, like this is paying my mortgage pretty much. Like, it's just so many things that you can do. It's, 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 it's amazing that people are not taking the time to learn more about what financial literacy is and, and what it can do for them because it will set them free. It will set them free. So that's all the questions I had for you. I definitely appreciate having you as my first guest. You are my very first guest here. So uh, the last segment here is a little rapid fire section where I'm going to ask you some questions and you can say yes or no. Let's do it. Um, oh, yeah, let's start. Rapid question, like, it's not yes or no, just whatever answer. No, just yes or no. They all are yes or no. Gotcha. Okay. And you don't get to explain. Whatever you choose, you don't get to explain. <laughs> you don't get to yes or no. It's either yes or no. And you I have to try to get through this without getting my wife getting upset at me. <laughs> <laughs> I would not put you in that situation. <laughs> All right. First question. Would you ever try stand-up comedy? Would I ever what? Would you ever try stand-up comedy? Yes. Would you ever appear on a reality show? Yeah, no. Do you think you could win a game show? Yes. Do you speak more in one language? Yes. Do you vote in local elections? No. Do you believe in ghosts? No. Do you believe in soulmates? Yes. Do you sleep with stuffed animals? No. Do you have a bucket list? Yes. All right. That's all the questions I had. I was fun. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely helped us learn a little bit more about our guest, Mr. Arcel Jean-Pierre. I want to thank you again for taking time. I hope your son and your wife are doing well. And um, if any of my listeners have any questions about um, options trading, this is the guy right there, and you'll be able to follow him and follow the link in his bio if you have more interest in learning or starting to trade.
options. Thank you again for this episode, and and we're excited for more. more. Thank you for checking out Keys to the Coin with Dr. Paul Paul ATN. Stay connected via madboo.com and on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook with the username madboo.com as we continue to unravel the financial world with tips, insights, know-how, and more. Download our app, Madboo Max, for insights, news, free stocks, and financial tools. As always, we hope you learned something useful from this episode. On your way to creating your financial path, live a productive, debt-free life, and ultimately gain confidence in every coin.